To get a cool anime merch like this and more, click the link in the description. He is charming, cool, athletic, a good cook, but more importantly, he's a clean freak. Aoyama is idolized and respected by everyone, but they can only admire him from afar due to his misophobia. Despite that, he plays soccer, a rather dirty sport. As a playmaker for Fujimi High School soccer club, Aoyama avoids physical contact at all costs and clearly dribbles towards victory. However, the path to nationals will not be easy for Fujimi's underdog team. But alongside striker Kaoru Zaizen, Aoyama will show everyone that even as a clean freak, there are things he's willing to get dirty for. <laughs> Goro Honda, a little boy obsessed with baseball, has always admired his father Shigeharu. Wishing to follow in his father's footsteps, Goro dreams of becoming a professional baseball player. In turn, his son's starry-eyed admiration encourages Shigeharu to keep playing, despite his late wife's death and his unsatisfying position on the second-string team Blue Ocean. Unfortunately, an elbow injury forces Shigeharu off the team and he falls into despair. However, after an offhand joke from his childhood friend, Shigeharu re-evaluates his choices and decides to keep playing, leaving behind his prime position as pitcher and taking up the bat. Now motivated more than ever, Goro works hard to carve his way in the Japanese Little League. With a straight pitch that completely missed the batter, Agent Samura loses his final middle school baseball game. Frustrated by this defeat, Agent and his teammates vow to reach the national tournament once they are in high school. But everything changes when a scout unexpectedly invites him to Tokyo's prestigious Seido High School after seeing the potential in his unusual pitching style. Encouraged by his teammates, Agent accepts the offer ready to improve his skills and play at a much more competitive level of baseball. However, now surrounded by a large number of skilled players, Agent struggles to find his place on the team. He declares that he will one day become the team's ace, but it's only if fellow first-year Satoru Furuya doesn't take the title first with his breakneck fastballs that earn him a coveted spot on the starting roster. With the addition of these talented new players to an already powerful lineup, the Seido baseball team aims to become the best Chihaya Ayase, a strong-willed and tomboyish girl, grows up under the shadow of her older sister. With no dreams of her own, she is contented with her share in life till she meets Arata Wataya. The quiet transfer student in her elementary class introduces her to competitive Karuta, a physically and mentally demanding card game inspired by the classic Japanese anthology of 100 poets. Captivated by Arata's passion for the game and inspired by the possibility of becoming the best in Japan, Chihaya quickly falls in love with the world of Karuta. Along with the prodigy Arata and her haughty but hardworking friend Taichi Mashima, she joins the local Shiranami society. The trio spends their idyllic childhood days playing together until circumstances split them up. Now in high school, Chihaya has grown into a Karuta freak. She aims to establish the municipal Mizusawa High competitive Karuta club, setting her sights on the national championship at Omijingu. Reunited with the now indifferent Taichi, Chihaya's dream of establishing a Karuta team is only one step away from becoming true. She must bring together members with a passion for the game that matches her own. Former ace runner of Sendai Josei High School, Kakeru Kurahara is chased away from a convenience store for shoplifting. Shaking off his pursuer, he runs into Haiji Kiyose, another student from his university. 
Haiji is impressed by Kakeru's ability and persuades him to live in Chikusei Seoul, the rundown apartment where Haiji resides along with eight other students. Having lost his entire apartment deposit at the Makjong parlor, Kakeru accepts the offer reluctantly. However, Haiji reveals a secret during Kakeru's welcoming party. The apartment is actually the dormitory of the Kansei University Trek Club. He unveils his ultimate goal of participating in Hakone Ekiden, one of the most prominent university marathon relay races in Japan. Unfortunately, all the residents apart from Haiji and Kakeru are complete running novices. Worse still, none of the inhabitants are even remotely interested in being involved with Haiji's ridiculous plan. With only months before the deadline, will the fourth year student be able to convince them otherwise and realize his elusive dream of running in the Hakone Ekiden? The hero comes, the hero comes, the hero comes. Chant these words in your mind and I'll surely come to you. This mantra is what Makoto Tsukimoto repeats as a source of motivation when he fights through the stress of not only grueling ping pong matches but also in situations of his life. Makoto doesn't fight alone, he and his friends, Yukata Hoshino, nicknamed Smile and Peko, respectively, are two boys who have grown up playing ping pong together nearly every day. Peko, brimming with confidence, aims to be the best table tennis player in the world. Smile, on the other hand, shows little ambition. Nevertheless, the two have always struck together with a bond built upon their mutual love for the sport. Every year, students from all across Japan gather for the inter-high table tennis competition to achieve national and international stardom. Through intense training and competition, only the very best preserve. From the avant-garde director of Tatami Galaxy, Masaki Yuasa, Ping Pong the Animation serves a tale of ambition with its fair shares of bumps along the way. Whatever the odds, Peko and Smile will face them together. Monster Robot. Makunochi Ippo has been bullied his entire life. Constantly running errands and being beaten up by his classmates, Ippo has always dreamed of changing himself, but never has the passion to act upon it. One day, in the midst of yet another bullying, Ippo is saved by Takamura Mamoru, who happens to be a boxer. Ippo faints from his injuries and is brought to the Kamogawa boxing gym to recover. As he regains consciousness, he is awed and amazed at his new surroundings in the gym, though lacks confidence to attempt anything. Takamura places a photo of Ippo classmates on a punching bag and forces him to punch it. It is only then that Ippo feels something stir inside him and eventually asks Takamura to train him in boxing. Thinking that Ippo does not have what it takes, Takamura gives him a task deemed impossible and gives him a one week time limit. With a sudden desire to get stronger for himself and his hardworking mother, Ippo trains relentlessly to accomplish the task within the time limit. Thus. Ippo's journey to the top of the boxing world began. Kuroko-kun,この中にいる? <laughs> Teiko Jr.'s high school basketball team is crowned champion three years in a row thanks to the five outstanding players who with their breathtaking and unique skills leave opponents in despair and fans in admiration. However, after graduating, these teammates known as the Generation of Miracles go their separate ways and now consider each other as rivals. At Serin High School, two newly recruited freshmen prove that they are not ordinary basketball players. Taiga Kagami, a promising player returning from the US, and Tetsuya Kuroko, a seemingly ordinary student whose lack of presence allows him to move around unnoticed. 
Although Kuroko is neither athletic nor able to score any points, he was a member of Teiko's basketball team where he played as a phantom six man who easily passed the ball and assisted his teammates. Kuroko no Basuke follows the journey of Serin's players as they attempt to become the best Japanese high school team by winning the Inter High Championship. To reach their goal, they have to cross pathways with several powerful teams, some of which have one of the five players with godlike abilities, whom Kuroko and Taiga make a pact to defeat. <laughs> Inspired after watching a volleyball ace nicknamed Little Giant in action, small stature Choyo Hinata revives the volleyball club at his middle school. The newly formed team even makes it to a tournament, however, their first match turns out to be their last, when they are brutally squashed by the king of the court, Tobio Kageyama. Hinata vows to surpass Kageyama, and so after graduating from middle school, he joins Karasuno High School volleyball team, only to find that his sworn rival, Kageyama, is now his teammate. Thanks to his short height, Hinata struggles to find his role on the team, even with his superior jumping power. Surprisingly, Kageyama has his own problems that only Hinata can help with, and learning to work together appears to be the only way for the team to be successful. Based on Haruichi Furudate's popular shonen manga of the same name, Haikyuu is an exhilarating and emotional sport comedy following two determined athletes as they attempt to patch a heated rivalry in order to make their high school volleyball team the best in Japan. <laughs> なんなら Toa Tokuchi is an athlete by profession but a reckless gambler at heart. On the streets of Okinawa, he uses nothing but his wits and a fastball peaking at a mere 134 km per hour to somehow achieve 499 wins in the game of one outs, a simplified version of baseball between the pitcher and one batter. Amazed by Toa's unique prowess on the mound, veteran slugger Hiromichi Kojima artfully scouts the pitcher to his long unsuccessful team, the Saikyo Saitama Lycanes. Kojima desperately hopes Toa will lead them to a championship, however Tsune Osaikawa, the mercenary owner of the Lycanes, sees the vastly talented pitcher as a threat to the income generated by the team. Rising to the challenge of swaying the owner, Toa suggests a one-of-a-kind one-outs contract. Every out Toa pitches will earn him 5 million yen, but with every run he gives up, he will lose 50 million. Adapted from the manga by Shinobu Kaitani of Liar Game fame, One Outs documents the intense psychological battles between Toa and those around him. With millions of yen at stake, can a pitcher who has done nothing but gamble in a head-to-head -head imitation of a baseball finally lead a real baseball team to victory?